what an afternoon I've had. Talk about a close run thing. Yeah, uh, let me get you a drink. Oh, my nerves are in shreds. I got into a bidding war with Billy Three Fingers. Billy Three Fingers? Crossed the wrong people. Never played the piano again. Any rogue, the auction, it all came down to me and him. And what happened? Oh, you were a proper nail biter. Which we're hard on Billy, because he's got less to go at. Anyway, I'm within 50 quid of jacking it in when he drops out. So you won? Thanks to you bankrolling me, eh? Hey, you'll see a handsome return once I've shifted it. <laughs> oh, speaking of shifting stuff, any chance you can go easy on the ham sales round here? Why? Well, it's Ashley the butcher. He's a mate of mine and it's really hurting him. Has he not heard of market forces? Diversify or die? Happen I might be able to help him out in that department, mind. Time on about. Well, it's just nipped out. It's not lunch basket time already, is it? Oh, so you do think of your stomach as well as other parts of your anatomy, then? What are you talking about? We're talking about you carrying on with my niece. That's right. She's told me everything. Look, I don't know what she said to Going you. Going to deny it to you? Taking advantage of a lass young enough to be your daughter? I know, it's... Married to your best mate? How low can you get? Look, I've not taken advantage of anyone. It's... Oh, so you're going to stand there and deny it to you? Look me in the eye. Tell me Molly's lied to me. But you and her aren't really carrying on behind Tyrone and Sally's backs. Barely out of her wedding dress and you've got your oily hands all over her. What's the matter? Wife not enough for you. I love Molly. Don't. I know fellas like you. I've married fellas like you. Wrong side of 40. Looking for a bit on the side to spice up their existence. Taking advantage of young girls, ruining lives and always thinking of themselves as the victims. I something like that. Stay away. You stay away from my Molly. Also, help me. I shall bring your whole world toppling down on your smug, selfish head. You said you went back to Tyrone because you loved him. For only a short time ago, you were the happiest bride in Manchester. Happiest couple before Kevin turned your head. Oh, yeah. Not the first woman to have an affair. Plenty do just what you've done. And then they come to the senses. But Jack, oh, do you really think that little baby could wish for a better father than Tyrone? Oh, my love. I know things are hard for you right now. But you'll give it a go with Ty. And six months down the line, you'll be so glad you did. What about his idea for another baby? If he hadn't have suggested it, I would have. A proper family. Someone's had to give him my eye teeth for. I fell in love with Tyrone once, and I bet when you start trying for that baby, it'll happen all over again. Come here. All right. How might you be? I could ask you the same. With your information, my son lives here. Oh, so you're the gob on a stick. They never warn me you look like a piece of candy floss, mine. Joe Brand's got nothing on you, has she? I've only come to see Tyrone. Oh, have you come to sponge some more money off him, have you? The wedding fund's dry, thanks to you, so come on, sling your hook. Who are you to be telling me what to do? Pam's the name, now you've heard me. You know, you're really pushing your look. I'm stronger than I look, and I know your type. You're all attitude and lip, but there's nout to back it up when the going gets tough. I know you've been nout but bad news for Tyrone from the minute he were born. You mouthy me! I mean, Nora, I could hear in the pub yard. <laughs> what are you doing here? Are you going or what? When did you swap your grey arm with this Rockweiler? You know that money Molly and Tyrone's been putting by for the wedding? Yeah. Well, it's all gone, thanks to her. And you only have to look at her chest to see what she's spent it on. Is it true? Well, in a way, yeah, but they did help me out. Yeah, to the tune of a grand. I got in a hole. On your bike. Jack. Jackie, out. And we don't want to see you again. I think it might be best if we don't tell Molly and Tyrone she's been around. Right. I have to go and tell the poor girl's father. Diggory loves sit down. Diggory has some terrible news. It's Molly. What do you want me to say? I want you to know that you're to blame. For what? A tram falling out of the sky? For everything! Look, I know you're upset. I'm not upset. I'm absolutely devastated. That's all mine. My father's dropped Tyrone off at the hospital. He wanted to get back to your son. Oh.